Thank you so much for listening to me today. Good afternoon, everyone. I am delighted to share with you my business, Positive Fee. My name is Sophie, and I am originally from England, where I spent 10 years working and studying in the fashion industry in London. My journey took me through many different sides of the business of fashion, including styling, visual merchandising, store management, event planning, and buying. Although I enjoyed many highlights, including working front and back of house at London and Paris Fashion Weeks, after 10 years, I felt it was time for a change. Over the years, I had seen firsthand the darker side of the industry and the lack of empathy for people's feelings and health. I was originally drawn to the industry because I was in awe of the creativity, and I thought it was magical that through clothing, any individual could express themselves uniquely and communicate their own message out into the world. For me, fashion has always been the biggest confidence booster, and I wanted to share that with other women. The toxicity of the industry is clearer than ever. You can barely scroll a social media page or read a newspaper without the negative effects of fast fashion highlighted. The fashion industry is the second biggest contributor to global pollution. Clothing is essential to all of us in our modern lives. So I believe there is big room for change in the overall climate situation through our individual and community and global actions when it comes to our relationship with clothing. So what is Positive Fee and how did it come to be? After leaving the fashion industry in 2007 and doing some soul searching, I left rainy England for sunny San Diego in November 2018. The open mindset of the people in this beautiful city instantly made me feel right at home. I explored jobs to develop my skills in the wellness industry, thinking that would be a better space for me to fulfill my dreams of empowering and uplifting women. Alongside this, I freelance as a personal shopper. Then came 2020. January 2020, I hosted an event to connect with local women and promote my personal shopping services. I decided to host a clothing swap at home and thought this would be the perfect opportunity to uplift the attendees and share my styling skills. I encouraged drop-offs of donations ahead of the event so that I could organize items and set up everything in a boutique format for a karma shopping experience than a typical clothing swap frenzy. I promoted my event, but as my first one, I expected maybe 10 guests to show up, mostly friends. However, the word got out and the turnout amazed me at around 100, sorry, not 100, around 40 guests. The house was filled with women excitedly finding new treasures and comparing their finds. I realized then that maybe fashion was still my calling to empowerment, but maybe it would look a little different to what I had first imagined. I hosted a second event with the theme of Galentine's and planned to host monthly events outside of my wellness jobs. Little did we all know that a short time later, all of our lives would change. Suddenly in March, the world was in lockdown. I found myself with clothing stock from my events and wondering what I would do with all of these clothes without the option to host events. I started hosting virtual appointments with no contact collection and offering curbside donation drop-offs. A lot of women were clearing out their closet at this time, and so I became inundated with clothes. My very kind boyfriend helped me to convert our garage into a stock room and once restrictions allowed, I started offering in-person appointments in our living room and in our front garden. It was so wonderful to be able to offer my guests a social sanctuary in a time when there was such limited social interactions. This was it. I was empowering women through fashion, but finally in a way that felt right with my soul. 
A few months into lockdown, as many did, I lost my job at the fitness studio I worked at, as unfortunately the business closed. I saw this as an opportunity to put more energy into my newfound business. Throughout this, throughout the long lockdown days, I found myself researching more and more into the sustainability side of the fashion industry. I watched every sustainable fashion documentary I could find, but a particular one stood out to me, The True Cost of Fashion. The True Cost is a documentary film exploring the impact of fashion on people and the planet. Some key facts that stood out to me are that one in six people work in the global fashion industry. The majority of these women, sorry, the majority of these are women, earning less than $3 per day. On average, only 10% of the clothes donated to charity and thrift stores get sold locally. The rest end up in landfill or flooding markets in developing countries. I realized how blind I had been when working in the middle of the madness of the fashion industry. It is so easy to get swept up in the focus of meeting the next deadline and then the next deadline to even take a moment to look up and question the morality. After watching the true cost, my own mindset of how to enjoy fashion instantly switched. Suddenly, the thrill of ordering a new beautiful garment no longer felt as exciting, rewarding, and life-changing to me. Instead, feelings of guilt and empathy for the garment workers who risk their lives every day to work in unsafe conditions just so I could have a new dress, I wanted no part in this vicious production cycle. My mission was clear. At that moment, I knew I want to help people to have an alternative option for experiencing fashion. I want to highlight the facts of what is going on behind the scenes, but also to offer an alternative solution. Through positive fee, I want women everywhere to enjoy fashion again, to be able to dress guilt-free and, and express themselves to feel more confident. From the amount of donations I was already receiving through word of mouth alone, I could see clearly that we had an abundance already within our community, and there was really no need to produce new items, no new clothes. As restrictions started to ease up and outside events became possible, I hit the ground running with partnership events around the city and pop-ups in my front garden, where guests paid a flat fee to fill a bag with new to you clothes. I've been really privileged to partner with many of the leaders in sustainability in San Diego for my events, including Pure Project, The Mighty Bin, Sisters, Sonora Refillery, Misadventure Vodka, Nonprofit Sustainability is Sexy, and of course, Zero Waste San Diego. My events have been highlighted on Fox 5 and CBS 8 news segments. I loved offering a new low pressure way of shopping for guests, whether attending appointments or an event. By filling a bag, instead of deciding between individually priced items, guests are able to determine what they intuitively love rather than buying the best bargain to get a quick fix. I encourage everyone to think about what will work for their wardrobe and their lifestyle. The beauty is that an item can always be donated back in the future and the fashion of circle of life continues. I also love hearing stories of the past lives of garments and sharing them with a new owner. Join our circular fashion movement. Donate your gently loved clothing to Positive Fee knowing that they will live their next stage of life within your local community. Attend a Positive Fee event for your next closet refresh. We host flat fee events and other events regularly within San Diego. Learn how to care and respect for your current wardrobe at a clothing repair workshop hosted with Zero Waste San Diego. Make fashion positive again and spread the word to your friends and family as to how to do so. Join our next events. Throughout the month of February, Positive Fee has a rack of secondhand, like new clothing at Zero Waste Grocery Store, The Mighty Bin in North Park. Every Wednesday in February, there will be a new theme for the rack, and each item is just $20. On Sunday, March 12th, Positive Fee will be at Pure Project North Park. 
pay a flat fee of just $45, which includes a bag to fill with clothes and your favorite pour of Pure. Join us on Saturday, April 1st, for our clothing repair workshop hosted with Zero Waste San Diego in Carlsbad. Learn to repair your clothing and prolong the life cycle of your wardrobe. Join us in May and beyond for the eagerly awaited return of private styling appointments at a brand new location. Stay tuned for details. Stay up to date on all our upcoming events by signing up to our mailing list by, via positivefee.com and following positive underscore fee on Instagram. I will also be staying for the happy hour if anyone would like to connect in person. I'd love to meet you. And in this pink suit, I hope I'll be pretty easy to find. <laughs> I truly believe, if I can just say really quick, that love for our planet is an extension of self-love. We must learn to love and respect ourselves, and then we have the empathy and ability to care for Mother Nature and our fellow humans. Let's do this. Thank you.